Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So a few days ago, I picked up the wonderful Femi Pam 2. So for those who don't know, this is basically a um, gimbal. They're called pocket gimbals. So this looks very, very much like the DJI uh, Pocket Osmo or the Osmo Pocket 2. Um, it does have a longer battery life as far as I'm aware. It's cheaper. I've been using it for a few days now and um, my initial impressions are that the daytime shooting is a lot better than I expected. I'm actually really happy with the image quality and the stabilization. The nighttime shooting quality is actually worse than I expected. Now I did read that the uh, low light performance of this particular camera was not that great, but I'm actually kind of surprised by how big the difficulty is. The, the settings are not that, uh, not that intuitive, but they're fine. Uh, the app doesn't work. A lot of people are complaining about this on uh, the, Go on the uh, Google Play Store. You try to connect with the app, with the official Femi app. Femi is like Xiaomi's parent company as far as I know, and it just does not connect. So these are really basic things that Femi should have sorted out. So if I were uh, operating with a bit of a larger budget, I would have gone for the DJI Osmo Pocket. But for kind of an entry level tool into this world of pocket gimbals, and that's what I bought this for, not having to lug around uh, DJI Ronin SC and camcorder. This thing is going to be invaluable and I think it was a great investment. So uh, what I want to do in today's video is show rigging options. In other words, getting some accessories onto this. Uh, now, speaking of accessories, this does support an external microphone. It has a uh, 3.5 mil jack at the back and the internal microphone performance isn't that amazing. You can watch the last few videos on this YouTube channel in the uh, the shopping center, D-City and uh, Eretz Bereshi. Both of these were actually shot with this and just the internal microphone. But um, I, I am about to go to the north of Israel for a few days and I thought this would be a chance to just uh, prepare a few accessories. So in terms of rigging, I've just picked out here my two most, my two kind of smallest accessories. This is a very, very basic small shotgun microphone. And this is a very, very small light from Ulanzi. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just record this in one cut. I've just got in front of me here um, some of my gripping tools. I try to keep my camera stuff organized and I'm just going to be showing a few ideas. Now, one thing I don't have and therefore I can show there is for AliExpress for, on AliExpress for about five bucks. There's a little kind of case for the PAM2 and that gives you that'll just kind of latch on and it'll actually give you a GoPro at the back because if you're doing some uh, monopod work or some selfie stick work with this camera, then uh, you probably don't always want to just be going in at this angle to the, to the device, that kind of straight up angle. You'll want to be getting some horizontal. Now, uh, for instance, I was recording uh, yesterday on Friday, yeah, just yesterday, I, I was basically in a desert in Israel. And I was thinking if we had more time uh, doing some uh, stabilized shots going up a sand dune, would have been incredible. Now, if I wanted to do that, I ideally want to connect to the Femi at this angle here, not at this angle so that I could just bring it along the ground. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of ideas based on the gear I have, starting with the, the easiest. Now, I promise firstly, this isn't a secretly sponsored by uh, Ulanzi video. I just have a ton of their stuff. Uh, so let's start with the easiest thing. So this is just one of these hand grips just make it a bit easier to grip a camcorder. And this would be the most basic thing I can think of. It's got a quarter inch, so it'll go into the Femi Pam 2. And um, the benefits of just using this wouldn't be that big, to be honest, but it makes it a little bit more comfortable to hold this. You don't get in the way of the controls and you've got another six inches. So whether you're doing vlogging like this, well, other way around, let's say, or doing shots like this, that might make it a bit more comfortable, but the benefits, uh, as I said, are not so great. Um, now, let me show you the most important thing, I think, for this, which is going to be uh, monopod work or selfie stick work, trying to get the Femi Pam 2 up in the air higher than you can reach with your hand. So, first piece of kit I'm going to show and recommend is the Ulanzi MT34. Now, I've talked about this guy before, I was looking for a uh, device that would have a tripod base or you know something like a tripod and that would be a selfie stick and this is the only thing I could find on AliExpress uh, that had both that met both of these criteria and I found this to be 
the most incredibly useful thing in my camera gear box. I've literally bought four of them. The webcam I'm recording this on is on one of these. The light just off to the side is also on one of these. So like my day-to-day -day setup, I use, I use this setup when I'm doing Zoom meetings. I use it for my these video blogs. I think it's a really, really great uh, piece of kit. Now, this can also be useful for uh, working with the Femi. So firstly, it's got a quarter inch head. And uh, that was also one of the things I was looking for. So, and it's also got one of these, you know, kind of nice little, you can see it's a little thumb screw mechanism. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw in the Femi. Make sure it's nice and secure. All right, so my Femi is now on my Ulanzi MT34. Now, uh, firstly, if I just telescope this guy out, it's about a meter long selfie stick. So you can see this is, if I wanted to get up in the air, this is kind of something like I do. I'd have my, I'm going through a crowd of people or something, I'd have my Femi like this. And the beauty, of course, is that it's going to be, this is a gimbal after all, so it's going to be stabilized. So that's option number one. But the real advantage of this over just a regular selfie stick, now some selfie sticks do have this feature, not all of them do, is that it has a ball bearing here and it's got a little lock for the ball bearing. So as I was saying, there are instances in which a 90 degree offset would be so much more useful. So, but watch this, we can just loosen up here and move this around to 90 degrees. That's as far as the ball bearing will go. Now I have my Femi 90 degrees off from my monopod. I'm just gonna actually turn it on so you can see what it would really be like. One, two, three. Ah, sorry, I've got it. I've got it the wrong way on this. So let me just quickly reverse and secure. And there we go. So now I have my Femi like this, and I can you can see the camera is facing this camera here. So this would be great again if I was doing some kind of a shot like this, going up a sand dune or just going horizontally. This would be terrific. The, of course, what I can also do uh, with this particular tool, the Ulanzi MT34, is I could use those uh, tripod legs if I wanted to do a vlog or something, much as I'm using my webcam here. I could just prop this guy up onto my screen and uh, now I have a vlogging setup or I could record out this way and I have kind of a setup here that I can actually, I'm literally just holding the base of the tripod and just sort of attempting to do a tripod movement. So this, um, the Ulanzi MT34 actually opens up a lot of doors, I believe, for the Femi Pam 2, and I'm going to be taking this on my trip in the north of Israel. If you don't have the Ulanzi MT34, what you can do, let's say you just have a selfie stick like this. Now, I'm just gonna take off the head. This is basically a regular old selfie stick for about eight bucks. It has a quarter inch Heads. It's also got a GoPro head, but it's got a quarter inch on the GoPro. And you know, nothing spectacular about this. It kind of has a locking mechanism. You turn, you turn clockwise and you've got a selfie stick. Now you could just put this directly onto the Femi Pam 2. Uh, I'm not gonna use this because the Ulanzi MT34 is a nicer piece of gear. Um, but let's say you have this. So you've only got your vertical and you want to get it, you want to get that 90 degrees. So all you need to do is get some piece of hardware that's going to make that turn for you. So here's a really simple option. It's a uh, ball bearing on top of a quarter inch. This one got a little bit damaged and chipped. Just ignore that. Uh, you can set this guy down, set the ball at 90 degrees and then lock the ball and then put the ball onto the top of your monopod or selfie stick and lock it in securely. So I'm just gonna do this again. That's about as secure as it's gonna get. And now I've got my 90 degree turn made. And now I can just uh, put my Femi on this. So that's one option is to use something like this. Uh, another option is to use something like this, a tiny bit more elaborate. This is I think either by Small Rig or uh, UU Rig, which I think is a Ulanzi company. Uh, this guy basically does the same thing. It's got a quarter inch here at the base and it's got a uh, ball bearing here and it's got a little locking mechanism here. So you could again put this 
onto your uh, monopod, screw this in, and now you've got your 90 degree turn. But this guy, you can go, you can also do, of course, 45 degrees or 20 degrees, uh, which gives you even more flexibility. So that's basically the monopod just about covered as far as I can sort of think. I can't think of anything um, I wouldn't want to do. Of course, you can daisy chain. So you could, if you're really, really uh, trust your gear and what it would say is in my experience as a very very rookie so far has been the longer you extend if you put a gimbal on top of a, a monopod or a selfie stick or anything like that the longer you go the shakier it's going to be so um you know you could try to daisy chain these but you might end up losing the stability from the femi and if it falls off uh, the higher the higher up the fall the worse the potential consequences needless to say um okay so final thing i want to talk about is um or what i want to talk about i want to show is options to get those accessories on so a couple more ulanzi pieces this is a two i don't know the product name for these you'll find these very easily on aliexpress probably on ebay i think they're also selling on amazon now as well so this guy has a quarter inch here and it's got a, a cold shoe fitting here so let's do an example so what I can do, I'm going to actually put the, I'm going to use the microphone. So I'm just going to slot the microphone, if you can see. I'm going to slot the microphone into this cold shoe slot and lock it down. So I've done that now. So now the microphone is on this. Now I can put the Femi on this side of it. And I'm just going to lock it. Now the Femi is secure. I'm holding it horizontal. It's pretty much okay. So now I've got my uh, microphone next to my Femi, an external microphone. And what I can do here is I just have to literally connect into the back of the Femi, like so, and it's secure. And there we go. So now I'm using a external microphone. I'm just trying to tidy up the wire a bit. I could also have used this much bigger microphone, the Saramonic Cam Mic Plus. A really good microphone I've just started to play around with is the uh, Comica Track Shot. That's actually got two microphones so uh, two little two little turnable shotgun microphones. You can have one facing back towards you and one facing out. But let's say you're just happy to use this one. Uh, so again, I put this the wrong way around. So let me just uh, fix that quickly. Okay, so now, now we're the right way around. The screen is facing me, so kind of a monitor and the microphone's facing out. So let's say I record, I'm interviewing somebody. So I'm recording them this way. So this is a directional microphone. Uh, pointing towards the talent and this camera here. So what I could do is just to finish off this rig, rig is uh, to come in here at the quarter inch with this thing I showed on the initial video and lock there. I'm just gonna get this locked and we're good. So now I have my rig. It's uh, the Femi is the Femi's here to state the obvious. Uh, shotgun microphones here and this actually is not this is not bad at all so I'm gonna actually turn it on what why simulate when you can do do for real so now it's turned on and the, there we go so we're good shooting like this and I can come around in uh, well so for selfie mode it's gonna be a little bit trickier because the um, the way you're supposed to use selfie mode on the Femi is there's actually a selfie mode that'll rotate the camera so what you could do there is just take off the microphone and I'm just taking it off its mount and I'm just securing it again into the cold shoe. And now we have a, uh, now this is in selfie mode. The microphone is now pointing towards me. I can click the selfie mode button on the Femi and you can see the camera coming around. And I can just hold it like this. I do my uh, video blog, but I'm getting better audio because I'm using this external microphone. So that is a, another rig. Finally, I want to show a rig, a rig uh, that is going to be using both lighting and microphone. So um, I use rig with hesitation because you know proper rigs I've seen are like really, really uh, quite elaborate and gear that really goes well together nicely. This is more along the kind of DIY lines, but it should work. Final piece of gear I'm gonna just use here is this is another Ulanzi piece. It's a kind of three bar. Uh, you could also, there are also much wider ones you can use. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this one is, let's say I wanted to have the Femi. So what I've got here is a cold shoe to quarter in. So basically you just lock this in. So these are three cold shoe heads on this guy. 
So I'm going to just uh, put this little adapter back in if I can. If I can, is it going to work for me? Is it going to work for me? Is it going to work for me? There we go. And I just need to lock this guy in. Done. So now I can put the Femi onto this. All right, this is just very rough, but I'm just kind of trying to demo possibilities here. So that's not going in nicely. And let me just try again. Now this is going in a bit better. All right, so just ignore the fact that it's kind of not really at a beautiful, I could play around with the bolts here a little bit. What you could do here, remember there's two more uh, guys on this, so I could do the microphone on the center one. I'm gonna put the microphone here. Now this isn't a very wide piece of gear, so you couldn't really have a very beefy microphone, but let's just use the microphone I'm using in, in all these demos. And because we have three, I can put on the light as well. So I'm just gonna use this really, really small Ulanzi light. And I'm just gonna to have to unjam this. These, uh, these little kind of cold shoe fixtures tend to get stuck. There we go. I'm just gonna actually put it on here out of camera or off camera I should say. The nice thing about this guy is you can just kind of like rotate these pretty easily. So there we go. So this is my light, Femi light and microphone. And again, just for the purpose of simplicity, uh, let's say I'm going to use this guy. Now, as you can see, the Femi is not very well attached to, uh, to, say the, to say the least. So the ideal kit you'd want for this would be one quarter inch and uh, Two, two cold shoes and I think you probably would find those fairly easily but this is just a demo at rig again I've got my light here I've got my microphone here and I've got my Femi here so that is a very very non-exhaustive look at the options that are out there for getting your Femi attached of course you could use these in conjunction so let's say I wanted to take that two set if I could put it on top of the uh, pole and get up in the air while getting while throwing down some light from above uh, onto talent below and throwing down some uh, sound capture from up in the air. So there's a lot of possibilities and uh, you just have to, I guess, be, be a tiny bit creative. Thank you guys for watching and more videos coming soon.